And good afternoon, Mother Culture. Sister Carol, how are you? Blessed love and greetings, Clinton. Greetings to everyone who is tuning in right now, wherever you are, online, offline. Wherever. Yeah, worldwide. <laughs> worldwide. Greetings, you know. It's been a long time since you and I have a, I call it a conversation, because we, we know each other for so, so long. It's been a while. Um, Tina years, man. Um, Tina, um, Tina, um, Tina years. I, I, you know, something, uh, Sister Carol, this morning I'm like, actually last night, because I, I need to know, I need to remember as we get older, a lot of memories and so on, just fade away. <laughs> And I need, and I'm like, where was the first time I ever, ever saw Sister Carol? And I, rem it came back. I thought of it, and it finally came back. You want me to tell you? Don't you know? Let <laughs> me know. What <laughs> more? I tell you. I mean, I didn't know you personally then. I used to on the radio, but the first time I saw you perform. It was in May of 1983 at Lehman College in the Bronx. Whoa. whoa yes. Whoa. <laughs> George Bread. You remember George yeah. Bread? Promoted. Yeah, man, 40 years ago, that's in a Oh, you mean? Did ago, I, ago, I tell you? Done. Listen, Carol. Mm -hmm. It was you, Little John, and uh, Tony Tuff was on the package. And I got involved with bringing in artists because George Bread got me to go to Jamaica to bring up Little John. And that was the package. It was Sister Carol, Little John, and Tony Tuff. There might be other opening acts, but that was the first time I saw you, Lehman College in the Bronx. Quite a while, man. And after 40 years, the most thing we can say is give God thanks we're here. Yes. Right. Yes. You know, because so many things have happened between that time and this time. Right, right. But, you know, we have so much to give God thanks for, you know? Yeah, that is true. And, you know, Sister Carol, you know, you're talking 40 years. And I, I noticed in the last couple of months, it's like you have a rebirth. It's like, like you just you just come back with a, with, a, with a blast. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You have a big tune out right now. Currently, it's number five on the chart. And I see... Yeah, man, you new man. Oh, gosh, what a beautiful song. And that's that's the kind of material one would expect from Sister Carol. Well, what did you say? Not expected or not expected? expected? No, no, that's the kind of material I... And, and I assure your fans around the world would expect from you yeah, a, a man, song like that. When there's a need for us to um, emphasize on certain things, we have to put it in songs, and it's something I've been doing over the years, but we need to put more emphasis on it. Right. Because too many times the women are overlooked and overshadowed and not being nurtured and loved and cared for and given the opportunity and chance for her to shine. Right. And she's a half of creation. The man is the other half. When you and your wife go to the store, you buy what you want, but she buys what the family needs. That is true. For the household. That's a different thing when it comes to mm. women. Women have to care for her children, her king man, her community, and everything else. Yes. Yet she's so unappreciated at times. So we have to keep reminding our sisters how beautiful they are, how elegant they are. Or exuberant they are, or radiant they are. Right, right. But a triumphant giant they are. To let them know that, you know, no much no fierce man, stand up firm. Because no. you're blessed being a woman. A mother earth we live in there, you know. Not father earth, <laughs> mother earth. <laughs> mother. No, no, you have been an advocate for women in the business. And I just heard a report last week. Um, Jojo Mack uh, did a report on you where you were saying, um, you know, especially in Jamaica, the promoters there need to step up. Cause when you see the shows with a ton load of artists on it, you know, maybe one or two uh, female artists. Are you now even taking it a step further by being an advocate for 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 female entertainers? It's not that I'm, 
like taking a step to doing it. It's something that I've been doing for years. Something I've been preaching about, you know, for years. And I continue to do so every time I get the chance. You know, when I can reach out and give a helping hand to a younger sister. Wow. You know, in whatever way, fashion, or, you know, even words of empowerment. It's what, it's what I do. It's what I am. And it's what I do 24, 17, 65 days a year, you know. No, no. I myself have two daughters. I myself have two daughters and seven granddaughters. Oh, congratulations. Mm-hmm. I remember uh, in the late 80s when the gun tuned the middle go on and be a gun pan teeth and gun, gun, gun. And you sort of backed out out of the entire dance hall um, fraternity in New York and all over. And people were kind of upset with you. And basically, you had to put out a song, which I, I, I was glad when, when you put out a song that you're coming back to the dance hall. What, what, what made you took that stand at the time? You just didn't think that the, the radio right, should... You, you, you what happened? You hear what happened at that time? Mm-hmm. At that time, I got I got involved with working with Sister Judy Mowat. And when she came to New York to perform, um, I was performing with her, with her at Club SOBs when I was spotted by a, a famous director, Jonathan Demi, mm-hmm. that cast me in the first movie called Something Wild back in 1987, I think it was. Mm-hmm. Yes. So now, at that time... My career and my journey took that that step where it was movies after movies after movies. So a lot of people didn't get to see me in the dance hall so much like they used to. So somewhere around um, 19, in the Na- 90s, early 90s. 1990. 1990. Then I said, yeah, they don't know the dance hall business, but I have to come back. Because the people in my city, please, Sister Carol, beg you, please, please come back. The baby, 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 baby. You must counteract your culture teacher. You have to preach around the club. Woman, that's how you can make the slap me stop. That, that was a moment there mm-hmm. in, in New York because at the time, you know, New York was the capital of reggae outside of Jamaica. And I remember, I, and I, I'm going to remind you about this because you were one of my regular listeners as an artist in, in New York in those days and also a critic and I remember I, when I first played a Garnet Silk as Garnet Silk it was a song King Moses and I made the statement that I don't know this guy but listening to these lyrics um, pay attention to him uh, as I said that the first person to call me was Sister Carol, and you started to give us some history uh, on this guy, even though he was young as Garnet Silk. You remember that night? Um, I can't remember it really, but, you know, Garnet Silk has always been a youth. The first time I spotted him, I kind of pick up him spiritual energy even more than the physical. Right, right. And I knew that he would be uh, like a powerful force to encounter with musically. And as you can see, he made such a vast contribution that, you know, the people them can't believe they move so fast. So fast. In a short space of time. Yes, Carol. Yeah. Because when I played it, yeah. I had gotten a song maybe three years earlier as uh, whatever his DJ name. But I, I didn't make the connection. None of us did anyhow because he was uh, ranking something, whatever he called himself then. But when I'm, I got... I'm a sheer... I'm a sheer. Go ahead. No, when I when I got that song, the, the first song, I, I think it was from Courtney Cole or somebody like that that gave it to me. And you were the first one to, to endorse this guy. I you said, yes, Clinton, I chew. You see, you, tell, you started to tell us some little stuff that I didn't even know. And you were, you were yeah, man, absolutely that, that right. Was, that, that, that was not a normal. I'll tell you what he did to us one night. I remember I came to Jamaica in 1993. The year just started and they were keeping an Ethiopian Christmas concert in Hanover, a place called Mandela Green. Green Island, Mm -hmm. Mandela Green. Beautiful venue. And the the artists were Julie Mowat, um, Garnet Silk, and Sister Carol. And that that was a show I can always remember remember because he had both of us. 
women crying like babies on the stage. Oh my at goodness. The side stage. When I say crying, I mean real ball because it's like it wasn't like a like it, it wasn't like it, it, it was such a, a spiritual experience. experience right. I remember clearly that what happened to both of us. Wow. We looked at each other, we were crying. That is what was singing, but it wasn't just singing from him out. It's like you can hear everything yeah. I come out of them. Right, right. We're very spiritual. I always remember that. And, yeah. and, and, and Sister yeah. Carol, you mentioned, you know, 93, um, going to Jamaica. I also remember your time when you used to appear in Jamaica, Reggae Sun Splash and all these shows. And people were like, just uh, a New York artist. Oh, no, another New York artist. <laughs> because they didn't put the respect. <laughs> you know, you were one of them that were headlining New York artists. You know, the, oh, Shelly Thunder. Oh, another New York artist. Oh, oh Shine Head. Another I do, New York yeah, You, you remember do. those days? What do you mean? I can't forget them days, man. My, my first performance, my very first performance at Reggae Sun Splash 1987. They I was put there. me on dance all night with a whole bunch I of... I was there. Virgin and Christian and, you know, my cultural fans and attire at the time wasn't, wasn't really with the crowd. No. They never tell me to come off and they never boo me. And they never boo you. They, they just, just... When you can't stand up, they right, just stand up. Right, stand up and like, all right. <laughs> they just stand up and, all right. Hurry up in a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you really want to see, but, you know... Yes. I remember those days. Yes. I remember those uh, days because if you don't stand up to stop me, then you fall for anything and choose right. me uh, from, from, from your seven year old, my live rasta far right there. Yes. You couldn't go up there so and sing anything just to get a far out. Right. So, I met my wife, you know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. and just come off because I said they, most, them, they were not with me. They're not with you. I, 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 I you know, I'm, at the time. I remember when you had this big, big hit in New York. One of the first that w that was summer '84, I believe it was. You, you. 1984, 39 years ago. <laughs> yes, Sister Carol. That, that song and go ahead. That song and the entire album was my the very first time my 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 song hit number one on the chart. 1984. Yes, ma'am. I was yeah. right there. Are yeah. you know? Yeah. I used to go to Jamaica back and forth because. I have to hang with Philip Smart a certain way, right? And when Philip mm -hmm. was playing this song, even before it was finished, <laughs> Philip was playing this song. Uh, you know, we have that little competitiveness about us. We are best of friends, but when it comes to tune and radio, we, we, we went there. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Barry G heard the song. And Barry G was like, you know, Man, you have them kind of talent there in New York. I'm say, yeah, man, Sister Carol are the best out there right now. And would I get the song? Could I get the song? Your life wouldn't give it to me. Philip wouldn't give it to me because they were running it at the time. But you don't know, you have a two, you know, just give to another <laughs> man. Like that. And I eventually got it when it was officially released. And, and I got you earplay with, with Barry G at JBC. So it's been it's been a while. It's been a while. No, now in 19, 1993, 94, you you became the second female um, artist to be nominated for uh, a Grammy award. And every time you talk about it, you you talk how surprised you were when the nomination came out. Why were you surprised? Because. Um First of all, it was 1990, 90, 1997 that the album it was, was seven, the okay. best, mm -hmm. best reggae album in 1996. Now, when we are when we are do the, do do what we're doing, recording and you know, cause my husband and I form our little company, Black Cinderella Production, and we produced that album ourselves. So we licensed it to the Heartbeat Record, mm -hmm. you know, to put it out and manufacture and all of that. So we just never really expect. To be nominated and then who we were up the, 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 the um list that we were among like maxi priest and scatterlights and gregory isaac mm. and bonnie whaler wow you know that you yeah, talk about the elites of elite yes yes so i'm seeing myself among among these virgins now 
I already felt like a winner. Like, <laughs> what? Can you imagine? You know? and, and, and it wound up that um, um, Bunny, Wheeler, Bunny Wheeler won that night. Right, right, right. But the company you were with yeah. uh, as, as someone, you know, out of New York City, because uh, as I said previously, there were times when we didn't get the respect. The, the Jamaican market didn't give New York artists respect. Um, you know, other people Clinton, like you. I can, Clinton, I can tell you up until to this day that still happened. Really? But it, it all, yeah, man, it all work with your value system. You know, this is what people want to say. Just do what you have to do and what God bless you for do. And once you have that belief and that confidence in yourself, and you're on a positive mindset, you know, really watch your people and say, you just go on the way I do, you know. Some oh. members say, even Christ. That's Get true. second place over Barabbas, you know. Yes, 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 yes. So, no. you know, really watch them things. Even now, like, um, like uh, you know, uh, uh, a bridging called me the other day and I said, Why, sis, you perform one, do you not reach you? Why you, get a, why you get a good response, you know? I mean, I, well, I said to him, said, were you, expe were you, were you expecting, expecting less? <laughs> <laughs> But Sometimes it all happens, I even know, you know, because sir, first, them say, first of all, you know, you're a woman, and then they know, why? Well, you're a foreigner. It's kind of up on New York, and New York are foreign artists. Yeah, far, yeah they, that's the label they put on you. But you have, you are now, yeah, yes, you yes. have now uh, relocated, in a way, between New York and, and, and Jamaica. How, how, how are you balancing that? You know the two the two locations. Well, just like everything in life, you know, you just have to do what you have to do because I live. I I, I actually went to New York nineteen seventy three mm -hmm. as a as a as a teenager. So it's really fifty years, yes. and I have the great a great desire to to come back to to Jamaica. So you know the opportunity came and I took it, and you know every time. I have to go back to New York. It's because of family purposes right, right, are right. entertainment purposes. I have children and grandchildren living right. in New York. So I frequently, you know, come to New York to do what I have to I do. Know. But um, living here in Jamaica has been good for me. And, you know, I mean, I work my way but, but through the cribbies. And, Sister know. Carol, Sister Carol, sometimes you post these pictures and it's like a farm cutting bananas and picking mangoes. Don't you consider your fellow uh, Jamaicans who live abroad and, and don't have that luxury to eat fresh, you know, cook fresh banana in the mornings? You know, it's kind of, <laughs> it's it kind of, you know, upsetting when I see it sometimes. You need a cutting on banana no, stock. And... Well, where I'm living in St. Mary's is where my husband is from. Okay. And, you know, we have, you know, some property and farms here and a lot of family within close close region. So right, right. Like everything else, we just do what we have to do. Why may I tell you? Some other culture, you know, and we just deal with the farm and we deal with the music and we deal with life in its, in its, in its entirety. And we just keep moving and just give thanks every day. We rise and we see the sun and the birth nice, is intact. Nice, you know, cause nice. Clinton, most people put a lot of emphasis on, on, on value and things and material things. And I'm, I'm, I've come to know that all those things is just like a fleeting illusion, you know, vexation of spirit and vanity. Right. The relationships and the love that we maintain and have with each other is what's really important. What is really, um, it, 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 it's the order of the day. Yeah, it's right. not the house. It's not the car. It's not the land. It's not the, the mansion, it's not the clue. No, no, none of them things there. And even I think like the pandemic come around and prove to them the so well then all them things there don't really matter. Right, it's right. the relationships you have you have with your, your family, the right, next, your, your right. humanity in general. Right, that is right. what's important. Right. And I'm right. trying to spread that same vibes and energy to the music. No no You have a house you have a house but you don't own the house. That is true. You don't you're just a trustee. Someone will come and take that out. As soon when as you no drop. Yes, no matter put no whole heap of emphasis. Yeah. Yeah. Live your life. Yeah. 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 No. No, no, no. You know, so, limited but, time, sister. But let, let's take to present now. Let's go to, 
you came out with this wicked tune. The first time I heard this tune, Sister Carla said, yep, this is a big tune. This is a big comeback for you. Because in the past year or two, we've been having a lot of comebacks. Robert French and so on, been coming back with some massive hit. Um, are you surprised? Uh, were you expecting Nubian Woman to be doing as as well as it's doing right now? No, me never, me never really surprised. And I, I, I don't want to say you are wrong, but it's not really like any comeback. I'm never really gone, no way. Eh? Yeah, but you know, in but terms of that truth, sometimes, yeah. sometimes, sometimes it's different time people look around and you can't find anything to hold on to that will lift your and boost the spirit, you know, in a, in a very positive life. Right. And you hear music like this, it grabs you. Right. You know, and, 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 and I think um, with the help of, um, like, Tads and DPs and the people who put the music out there, push it out there mm, to the world, mm, mm, you know. So mm. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for every step of the way. I'm even grateful for Jack and first who first recorded me in in, in 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 the eighties while I was still you know trying right, to receive right, a, right. a a degree in college. Right. right so, right. I'm not really like surprised, but I'm. You're I'm, grateful. I'm, I'm grateful. I'm I, humbled I'm, at the same time. Okay, and I see also online that you are just getting shows now. You are booking. Uh, you are booked on various shows all over the U.S. Um. People reaching out to you, you and your management team reaching out. How is that working? Oh, because every time I go online, Facebook, I see a you show. Know, you, know with... what, you know what? You know what really happened? You know what really happened, Clinton? Uh -huh. I'm a sister. I have so much to give down. I never stopped touring. I've been touring <clears throat> all this time throughout the states, in Africa, in Europe. But sometimes, you know. When you don't have the team, the team that 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 that, that it requires to get you out there, and you find that one person has only all wear ten different hats. Sometimes a publicist not enough to tell the people themselves, right, right. but I was always out there. Oh right, I was always out there, and and, and I, I took a break during the pandemic because right. nobody, everybody had to take a break, but I didn't know how tired I was. So after you rest up for a while, you're ready for run again. You know what I mean? All right. Well, you're absolutely right, because without a publicist to publicize what you're doing, the average person will not know that, you you know, you're still You know, but I've there. always been, always been, always been doing my thing, uh, I, yeah. must, I must say, but I've always been doing my thing, no matter, no matter where, which new can cranny. You, you're there. Last time I think I travel <laughs> over 90 odd countries already. Yes. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's just. The path that the most I said for me, I mean, I right. tried the journey the best way me can to fulfill this destination. I will, I will put you, Yellow Man, uh, mm -hmm. Steel Pulse, and the late Joseph Hill in that same category. Always working, no matter what. Even when you don't hear anything about from Yellow Man, he is working, <laughs> constantly working. So I understand exactly what you're saying. And hey, listen, um, Sister yeah, Carol, um, why don't you take this opportunity to. You, you you have now found some new fans because this Jack is were asking me for the tune uh, in them 20s or 30s. Um, why? I tuned the bad Mr. Lindsay. Send it to me now. So I'm sure you have picked up new fans also and, and new supporters. So take this moment. Oh, by the way, today is Carl Anthony's birthday and he, he, he also wants to say hello. You know, yell up and so on, because he said you guys go Happy way. Happy birthday, Carl Anthony. Yes, yes, he's listening right now. Yeah, <laughs> man. Bless you with more love and more life, my brother. Yes. So take this opportunity for just say thanks to the new fans and the old ones for sticking with you all these years. I'm very grateful and thankful for the love and the support from the young and the new, everyone who is giving Sister Carol the love and the attention. Because, you know... It's not in vain. Yes. More of it is coming for you. Nice. And I nice. want to also take time out to bless up my brethren. May his soul rest in peace, Mr. Um, uh, uh, Toji. Oh, Soji. Soji produced this song. 
Uh, oh, really? And Newbie and Woman? Yeah, he did. He, did, he didn't get a chance oh. to, um, to, 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 to hear what's yes, happening yes, right yes, now. Yes, yes. You know, and an album of the same nature is coming All within right. that vein, same way. So may God rest his soul. The Cedric Hamilton, I was trying to remember. Ah, his real name. You know, bless his family. And yeah, you know. All the ones who have been supporting and contributing to what I'm doing. I'm so thankful and I'm very grateful. And I'm thankful to you as well for this opportunity, for the platform. Because me and one of them look up people grew up in the ghetto, but I grow good, you know? You raised by both parents, <laughs> that's the talk now. <laughs> you raised by both parents. Not really, you know? No. Not really, because my, my parents separated, you know, from I was a child and my you know, my mom went to to to, to America, and my dad, you know, was with another family. But by the village, done, we just give thanks. Yeah, yeah, we right. just give thanks to everything, 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 and everywhere we are. Cause we, uh, every step of the way had led us to this day, yes. which we are very grateful for. Sister Carol, always a pleasure, and I promise you won't be this long. How many years in between last interviews? So, good luck more with. More certain, I'm looking forward. <laughs> yes, looking forward to more of this as well. And yes, let every, everyone who are tuning in right now is just one perfect love. Have a great afternoon. I want to take the opportunity to bless one of my grandson. He's nine years old today in New York. His name is His name is Papa. Papa. Yeah. Nine. Joel. Respect. They call, no, they call him Dada. Dada. Joel. Joel. So happy birthday, Joel. Love you, love you, love you. Sister Carol, good luck with Nubian woman. And, I, you know, we are still working it. And we monitor it and let you know. Keep, you know, keep you updated. Thanks for the love and the support. And to all my sisters, stand firm. Because you're great. Simply great. Keep all right. shining. Say hello to your husband for me. Lindsay, a promoter, bring up the biggest set of artists from Jamaica. Like Super Cat and Mr. Early B, the doctor. Only for artists, no for them, he can remember. Who can remember when they used to keep Jamaica? The kind of show that used to give out of our water. To read the artists.